What's up, Pictures Rona fam? It's your boy Jay. And Nipa. And this is our side of the story. Our side of the story. Um, today's question is when it is too young or too old to get married. We had made a poll up on our community board and that was 83% of people said they want to listen. Um, What's well, too young this. to get married and when it's too Being young or when it's too old to get married. Yeah. Me, uh, my opinion. Well, before I go with my opinion, according to yeah, the outside yeah, of the story. This is just, that's why this is called outside of the story. story. It's our We're going to go according to scripture, right quick. And the Bible. So, as we, as believers in Christ, we go according to the word of God. That's, that's just how we live. Everybody lives differently, though, know, but that's how we live. But the scripture I'm going to come through is Genesis chapter 2, verse 20. Mm -hmm. So if y'all want to go there, y'all can go there. This is what it says. It say, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife. They shall be one flesh. That's one scripture talking about that. You got other scriptures in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16, and 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 4 mm -hmm. and Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. You can go look up them scriptures yourself. But as we just seen, a man should leave his mother and father and cleave on to his wife. That that and not to go on the other topic from last year, but that, that should last be responsible. Year? I mean last segment. Mm -hmm. that, that 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 go with being grown, if you look at it. You okay. leave your mother and father. But anyways, our, our side of the story, what I say about marriage, it ain't never too young, but you want to learn things. You don't want to rush into things. You don't want to be in a hurry. 18 in a hurry. You ain't got no guidance, no counsel. It's best to look for counsel for those who've been married for years mm -hmm. that you can get advice for them because they've been married for years. They got experience versus just jumping into it. Now, God sometimes, if, if God talked to you personally and talked to that person, y'all got a connection and it's meant for y'all to be, you go ahead and get married. If it's according to God's will, that's how I, I look at it. But if you just young and just want to, I just want to get married, why are you getting married? Look at that, why am I getting married? Why do I love this person or why such and such and why her, you feel what I'm saying? Like look at things like that. Start just rushing into it. Oh, she look fine. She did. She make me feel good. Cause they gonna come to a time y'all gonna go against y'all gonna how you say y'all gonna like battle it out or whatever. Like not battle it out like, but y'all gonna have disagreements and stuff. And disagreements. Some people take disagreements and they'll be like they won't stand. What you building your foundation on? Mm -hmm. You feel me? So foundation is period. Foundation is key. Our foundation is Christ. And we build on that. So that's my thing for the young people. You got anything for the young people? Yeah, being too young. Uh, I knew someone that got married at 18, 18 or 19. And it didn't work out for them. But then you got some people that grew up and been with the same guy forever. They get married, they have kids. But it's very rare that you find that. But being too young, um, I'm not sure why it's too young. Mm. Me uh, being too young, if it's in God's will, hold on. Excuse me, y'all. We lost the train of thought because. Anyway, back. But, yeah. but what I, I feel like being too young, what's too young? 18, 19? Um, if you if it's in the will of God, it's not too young. Um, like I said, I knew somebody that got married, and I think she was either 18 or 19. It didn't work out for her. And like a lot of young people, 
getting married 2021, 20, early 20s. It will work out for some people, and for some people it you doesn't know. work out for. Now, being older, late 40s, mid 40s, getting married, um, by that time, I feel like you are setting your ways and it would be difficult to adjust yourself to um, committing yourself to a man, submitting yourself to, and I'm saying a man because I'm a woman, it, I think it would be a little difficult to submit yourself because you are setting your ways and there's certain things that you like, don't like, you know, you know, hopefully by then you know yourself. And um, I was thinking about people who have been married and they're like 50, maybe 60, 70 years old and their spouse have passed on. Should they get married again? Um, me personally, um, if I'm 60, I think if I'm 60 and older, like about 65, I don't want to remarry again only because I've had that um, I've had that opportunity to be in love and to experience marriage and children and all those things together um, now some people will get married again because they don't want to be alone they they marry you're supposed to marry you know for companionship to have somebody God said he don't want us to be alone he don't want us. It ain't good for man to be alone. Right, it's not good for man to be alone. So to be that age and to remarry, it's okay. But for me, I don't think I would want to only because I feel like I've done it, done it, you know, I've done it all. And I just want to kind of like enjoy life. Now my point when you say about the young person. Yeah. What about a young person seeing their mama or their grandparents grow up how he nourish his wife and mm -hmm. such such and I some think people that's good. and some people young see that and like oh and they imitate that because we we don't imitate what we tell people we imitate what we see you feel what I'm saying so for a young person a young person can't get married that's how I look at it, it just as long as you got the wisdom and understanding about it now when they come out to the older person I need I know you said people who's forty and son stuck in their ways everybody ain't stuck in their ways correct. It's some people is, some people don't. If some people look at it, like I'm saying, I'm saying people getting married at 50, 60 years old still. You feel me? They finding their specific, I said, man. Insignificant other. Other, yeah. So, to me, on my opinion about that, I think it's open for any age. It, it, it's not an age, but it's just where your mindset set at. What is your foundation? I also feel and like. And y'all gotta be on the same page. If y'all don't be, Keep God no, first. No, no, no. No, what do that scripture is? How can two walk together unless they agree? Oh, that's good. If you don't agree with that person, it ain't gonna work. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So. And I also feel like um, if you've been married once and you on your second marriage or you're in another relationship and y'all talking about marriage, take your time. Yeah, don't be in a hurry. Um, also, if you've never been married before, and you meet someone and you feel like this is it this is it still i feel like take your time consult god seek god first keep him first because without him you will never fail oh, <clears throat> because been hearing stories and seeing people go through it i mean with god you would never fail. yeah i seen people go through it they get married the next thing you know it's a whole nother person that's why you gotta ask it's god not the person I that, see when I'm, I'm gonna take it back. When when Adam was in the garden and Adam was naming the animals and all that, and he didn't find a companion for him. God saw he was a he, he was God the only see, one. See Adam ain't Adam ain't say nothing. Right. But God knew. God just said, do my work. He did the work. Mm -hmm. And when he was asleep, God brought the woman to him. That's how me and Ephraim went. I also pray, I prayed to God. God said he would get seek him first and he will give you the desires, desires of, of your, your heart. heart so if we seek God first all these Everything things will be back. added unto him oh and I hear somebody you. like I hear somebody right now oh I've been praying all my life this and that this and that but yeah. was you not 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 trying you gotta make to make sure you're in the look, will you gotta, of God you, you gotta test yourself too so you gotta test a, a person of God or not of God but 
you got to walk accordingly. You can't be like, I want, I was praying for this man, this and that, but you out here committing fornication, you're shacking up, you're not living according to God's standards. You want God's promises and 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 rewards, but you're not living according to God's standards. God is not a perspective of man. You feel me? If you mm -hmm. obey him, obedience is better than sacrifice. So you walk in obedience to his word. God gonna give you desire. God ain't gonna hold nothing back from you. That's right. You feel me? If he holds something back from you, he knows it's gonna harm you. Cause like a, as a it's father, not for your good. as a father mm -hmm. or or a mother, they ain't gonna get a kid. Oh, my kid said I'm hungry. I'm gonna give him a poison snake. Nah, I'm gonna give him food. Right. Common sense, but that according to how my experience of marriage and everything, our foundation was on Christ. Yeah, you gotta keep just God first. Now. Tell God what it is that you want, and make sure what you're asking for is lined it up with the Word. Yeah. Make sure it's it's lined up with the Word, because if it's not lined up with the Word, then it's not gonna it's not gonna be. And sometimes God see things where He don't allow you to get married yet because um, you may have He may see something that's it's it, it's not time or it's not. It's not in God's timing, so but, but in our timing and His timing is it's, it's two totally different, different, two yeah. different timings. So our thoughts, not His thoughts, nor our ways, His ways. So. Yeah. So. But we don't want to keep y'all long. And we end up talking about marriage, like, and also some people feel like, oh, I never get married. I don't want to get married. Marriage is a good thing. Listen, I was don't one feel of like I'm it's like, man, bad. Like, it's a great thing. When I was a kid, man, I ain't forget marriage, man. I'm gonna be a player all my life, man. This and that. Hey, things take its course. Then you find out, like, I, I look at it like, boy, by the grace of God, so many diseases and stuff like that. People wonder why, why I caught this disease? Why I got STDs? Or why I got this and why I got that? Yeah. Because, number one, we living out of God's standards. And some people don't, some people want to be married, want to be in a relationship. But because somebody else. But they going about it the wrong way. Um, They feel like. Um, well, I can't, I can't make it, or I can't do it without a man, or I can't. What about my bills, or what about how I'ma pay this, or how I'ma get this, how I'ma do that? If you put your trust in God and lean not to your own understanding, God will supply all of your yeah. needs. And but you have to put God first. You gotta have you faith. You have to. Without faith, it's impossible to please, please God. God. You, you have gotta believe, to. and He's a reward of um, them that diligently that, that seek, seek Him. Seek him. So, so you have to put God first. If you don't put God first, then you're gonna be like in a, a wandering generosity. Like you a wandering generality. Generality. John Ruff. So you're gonna you're not gonna know if you keep God first. And also keep God keep God first in everything. 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 I don't care, it's just going, going around the corner, Lord. Got my steps to yep. this and that. You, you know, man, look, man, as a living testimony, man, God never failed us. He ask never God, failed. ask God, <laughs> ask God for guidance and direction. Yes. After you ask Him for those things, thank Him for it. Lord, I thank you for your guidance. I thank you for your direction. Thank you for leading me. Because God will not lead us wrong, but you got to keep Him first. And, and listen, so for some people it's hard to yeah. keep God first, but you gotta because keep Because you're trusting ourselves. You gotta trust Him. But see, this is another thing. Then when God, say for example, you pray for something or whatever, and God don't give it to you. Now you're gonna think, oh, God don't hear my prayer. This and that. God seen something's not fit. Something's you not may right. have the wrong motive behind it. Right. Oh, I want this man. Because there's some people, oh, Lord, I want this man. Here's this man. This man married. This man married. Or this woman married mm -hmm. to somebody. And you praying to God for that person. God not going to give you he a married you, person, a married listen, woman, or a married man. You do not supposed to covet nobody wife. You don't supposed to covet nobody things, nobody husband. The Bible says, covet thy neighbor. Do not cover, covet thy neighbor. That's a commandment. That's Ten Commandments. And mm -hmm. if you think about it, the world according itself to the Ten Commandments. The United States go by the law according to the Ten Commandments. A lot of people don't know that, though. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, now you know. Yeah. We don't, we're not gonna hold y'all too yeah, long. Yeah, we're too long, but this, like I said, we it's our second week for doing this second segment. Second after this, this is our very, this is our second segment of outside of the story. Yeah. So 
if y'all have any um, questions or any topics that y'all would like for us comment to talk down, about. Comment down, comment in our community board because the they, they cut off our own. Um, they turned our comment section, section off, off because again. minors. Because Star Wars is she, she's a minor, so they cut off. Our, sometimes they cut it on, sometimes they cut it off. I don't know. But you can go to our Instagram at underscore picture us rolling, rolling, or you can go to our Twitter picture us rolling. And if you're new to our channel, welcome to the picture us rolling family. It's free to subscribe, and it's free to subscribe. And if you feel in your heart to share this video, do so. Please share this with someone that you feel like they needed to hear this. Share that with them, okay? Because we are being led by God. So, and like I said, we've been holding on to outside of the story for a while yeah and, and we haven't gotten to it until now so in god time yeah we wait just waited on god so we love y'all and we see y'all in the next video and we will see y'all in the next outside the story superman don't save jesus save <laughs> <laughs> bye y'all